Carmen Carrera is a Puerto Rican model, actress, and TV personality. But arguably, her most important title is that of transgender activist. And she's changing how the world thinks and treats the LGBTQ community. Were you always an activist? Growing up, I've always wanted to have a voice, but I didn't have the courage. And now that uh, I've been through my transition and I have a, a better sense of self, I'm able to voice that desire to like stand up for people. So now I guess people call it an activist. But in my opinion, it's just standing up for what's right and, and opening up people's eyes. And did, did you feel you had the support you needed and um, the guidance? Or was that something that you figured out sort of along the way? Well, I feel like in the beginning, I had the desire and I had the support from my friends. But I didn't have the information, so I had to go and find these resources. I had to get like a good uh, psychologist to help me with all the craziness that was yeah, going on in my head. Of um, but yeah, but I definitely, I've always had the support of my best friend. And so how did your family support you through this process? What was their reaction and how did they get you through? My family loves me unconditionally. And awesome. I didn't, and I actually That's questioned that. Yeah, like I actually questioned that before because, you know, coming from Latin American immigrants yeah you know you want the best for your kids and that's why I try to understand that right. generation because right. I am like the first generation American right. Right. so like it was just my mom single mom my grandmother they're just trying to do what they can to right. make ends meet and to raise you know their image of yeah. you know perfect family yeah so I didn't want to let them down I thought oh my gosh you know like you know growing up I was the baby of the house but I was also supposed to be the man of the house right. so I'm like how am I gonna live up to these that's expectations right. I want to like make sure that now that I'm advocating is to kind of be there for my community, but also let them know that they have to be open and honest with their family, That's right. whether they accept them or not. And I have more to offer now, Beautiful. you know? Yeah. yeah, so I had to kind of go through that little bit of a dark time uh, to find myself in order to understand that my family does love me unconditionally. I want to have a family. I want to be a great mom. How can I learn how to be a great mom? Yeah. I need my mom. Now they've gotten to know this new side of me and I have more to offer now. So you are a parent who just happens to be trans and you know we want to know what's it like to be raising two beautiful children in a world that is beautiful but also really judgmental. So walking them through that journey. Well, me and my husband have two kids, two okay, girls. Okay, okay. Yeah, sorry, 12 and 7. Well, I don't know what their sexuality is going to be right. or even if they choose to identify differently with their gender or whatever it may be, you know, like, I want to be there for them. You know, I have to dig deeper to right. say, no, like, I belong here. Right. And I'm going to keep going. For that reason, we are so honored to have you as one of our, you're one of my personal heroes, but you're clearly a Latina renegade warrior.